All right, guys, here we go. August 26, 2018, 2.13 p.m. We officially have Tropical Storm Miriam. Uh, I believe that is the correct pronunciation. And um, shout out to Megan Poff down below in the comment section looking up the definition. Um, this actually, this name, when you look it up, like the baby name websites and stuff like that, it actually means um, sea of bitterness uh, or it could mean sea of sorrow. So it actually has the word C involved with it. I'm sure that could be possibly why they chose this name to be one of the names for the Pacific season. But um, you can see here, guys, we are a, at tropical storm uh, levels right now. It's saying 40 knots, 45 miles per hour. It's actually upwards of 50 miles an hour now. They're going to update this shortly. Uh, we still have the disturbance at 60% over 48 hours. But when you look at the five-day... Um, it's clear that this will more than likely become our next hurricane, which would be uh, Hurricane Norman. Uh, first, it'll be Tropical Storm Norman, and then it'll become Hurricane Norman. But we already have Tropical Storm Miriam, uh, which I figured was going to become a tropical storm within the next couple hours from uploading my last video. Uh, they're claiming this may be a hurricane as early as tomorrow night, 5 p.m. I'm going to say a little sooner than that based on the... Um, the, I guess you can call it rapid intensification of this storm already. We have some pretty cool visuals to look at, courtesy of Norway Tracking down below in the comments section. He's a big help on this channel as well. Babe, did you put a gummy bear in my tea? Oh my god, there's a gummy bear in my tea. Awesome. Anyway, guys, check this out. We got satellite views of Miriam right now. You can see it beginning to get its spin counterclockwise. As the sun rolls over top of it, that's what that line is you're seeing going across. Here is our visible loop, a little bit of a closer view, a little faster. You can see those storms. When you see those big puffs, those are clouds exploding um, off the top of this storm, reaching up higher and higher into the sky. Um, and that's what happens, guys. These storms cling together. We get our depressions, then we get our tropical storms, and then we get to Category 1, which would be the next step for Miriam. Here is an infrared satellite loop, also courtesy of Norway Tracking. Thank you, buddy. And you could tell this storm is nothing to mess with. Um, as far as the track, uh, that's the Atlantic. Let's take a look really quick at the track. Um, all right, so we're going to say this. It wants to move north sooner than expected. Um, that's what we want, too. The farther north this thing goes... Um, and the sooner it happens, the less threat we have of this being another situation that Hawaii would have to deal with. Um, but according to both of these storms, uh, Miriam and Norman, if Norman forms, which they more than likely will, uh, they both want to go in that western direction with that high pressure still in the Pacific Ocean, forcing these storms down um, until there's some sort of release. And then they want to move north naturally, just like in the Atlantic Ocean. And once again, guys, keep an eye on this area right off the coast of west, the west coast of Africa, uh, by the Cape Verde Islands. Um, it could be just a matter of time before we see an invest named here. So we really want to watch this area. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen a string of storms stick out this far without being interrupted by shear winds or by sandstorms. So, all right, guys, that was the quick update. Uh, just letting you guys know, we uh, now have our next named storm for the Pacific Ocean, Tropical Storm Miriam. Um, let's see what happens, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.